Did you listen to The Drive Show with Anita Ray and Patrick Agunza? Here's what you missed. It used to be enjoying his music more than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> this is The Hard Drive Kamukawida with me, Anita Ray. And of course, I'm never ever alone. I'm with the G himself, the good boy, the gangster, the gentleman, God sell, a.k.a. Baba Nema. John Gopai, Guzare, Apevi, Bakigonga, 7 in the PM. And of course, in the like that, to make it get to Sana, to Angwa Pakubonga. Now remain when you're in the studio to go so and then we'll be checking up but we don't take it for granted that you spent some time yeah. to come talk to us. It's a blessing, man. We get yes. friend zone. Yes. It's a great happen up on the 15th of uh, this month at the Uhuru Gardens. We're expecting you to perform mm -hmm. and uh, Kenyans have actually been waiting. Wow. <laughs> you know, um, actually, you know, like, since the last time we were here, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, it's always a dream to come back here and, and, to, and to perform for the people and to this. You know what I mean? Sing the new songs that we have, you know, and, and let the people hear it, hear them live. You know, and um, you know, since the last time we were here, we put yeah. out the album. Oh uh, yes, we know, did. So, mm -hmm. you know, we have songs from that we want to perform, and so the people and the fans and those who are just getting to know about Ramin Virgo here in Kenya could hear them and see it live for the first time. Okay, all the songs, or most of your songs, are love songs, yeah. So uh, when when a man sings a love song, until someone broke his heart or is in love. So <laughs> which one is it for you? Um, a mixture of both, mm -hmm. you know, um, I mean, earlier days, I used to just write, you know, because because of the, the artists that grew up listening to, mm -hmm. like, wow, you know, they inspired me to just get up and write songs, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, as, you know, back back in the earlier days, I used to just write love songs, but I used to just rhyme, and some of them weren't, like, Love Doctor wasn't, mm -hmm. wasn't an experience, mm -hmm. it was just me is sitting in my room and writing lines and trying to rhyme mm -hmm. as I call them and, and it turned out to be a big song. Yeah. You know, and um so you know it's just a blessing, you know, to, so that we can experience things, put them in songs and, and people and, and people really enjoy to them. it. So, yeah, man. Um, How long have you been singing now, professionally? Professionally since two thousand and seven. Mm -hmm. That would be eleven years ago. Eleven years, yes. Eleven years. What is the peak of your career, like your entire career? What was the one moment that changed everything for you? Uh, I would say the, 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 that moment that I got the breakthrough in the music, you uh -huh. know, like, um, that was Rising Stars in Jamaica in 2007. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, that was that was a very big moment for me. I know uh -huh. that this was gonna open doors for me and, and, and create that opportunity to to do what I always want to do, you know, and, 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 and to fulfill the dream of traveling the world and singing uh -huh. and getting to record with someone, you know, the producer that, that I look up to. Uh -huh. You know, so I would say that that would be the breaking point or the changing point. In my in my life, getting the opportunity to to just be an artist, you know, to sing and to to to, to just voice anything that, that comes to mind. Reggae music is big uh, everywhere in the, in the in the universe, actually, not mm. only in Kenya. Mm. But our artists in Kenya are struggling to have the music out there. Mm. How how is it the Jamaicans your music goes out out there very easily in the states in Africa? How do, how easy am I? How do you guys do it? Mm. Well, I mean, you know, for us, you know, we have to. I don't know the, the genre of reggae music. You mm -hmm. know, it, it got it, got it breakthrough. You know, a good while now. I think mm -hmm. we're almost what forty. I think so. Yeah, reggae music. Mm -hmm. We're almost forty year old, mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I would have to give credit to the people who created the music, and yeah. it wasn't just reggae from day one. Mm -hmm. You know, from you know our music, I've been coming from far, like you know, mentor and and. You move to skia uh -huh. and you know and until reggae and dance also. so yeah. it's, it's like a growing it's like a growing genre music mm -hmm. you know you know for us you know so it wasn't it didn't just happen overnight you know it's but a but but yeah it's a it's really and truly a process mm -hmm. you know and i think you know the, as i said the creators the people who were there from earlier days um which which would obviously include people like mm -hmm. you know Bob Marley and yeah. people before his time. Okay. You know, you know, they they would be the ones who would, who would have to give all of the credit to for, you know, you know, you know, staying true to the music, you know, and 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 just making music that has positive positive, positive vibes. vibes. You know, okay. so I think. I think you know when when they, when they try to reach out in the world from a positive perspective, then mm -hmm. definitely great things can happen. True. You true. Know? And um, so, you know. We are just eating. We are just eating like bread from their mm -hmm. hard work. Okay. You know, to be honest. Yeah. You know, and and and, and I believe for any music to really and truly reach out there, you know, first we have to try and build the love and the fan base for it. Okay. You know, um, we have to support each other. You know. Not pull each other down. 
I'm saying not pull each other down. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's what we need, especially as young, young artists in the community mm -hmm. business. I think you know we need to create you know teams and people who believe in our music more than more than even us as artists all the time. Okay. You know, and um, you know you, you never know. You can just read some levels that we never imagined. You know, but I believe that the time will come when you know you know. The, the artist, because I listened to some artists. Yeah, I, I just mm -hmm. did a collaboration with King Kaka. Yeah, oh, you know, amazing! Yeah, for his for his album. Uh -huh. um, I know that there are so many talented artists Artist here in, in Kenya. Kenya. Yes, we have. And um, I just think it. I think it's just time, mm -hmm. and, and 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 just believing in it. You know, not confusing mm -hmm. the people who are following. You know, because I think that is something, especially with the young artists nowadays. You know, we try to keep up with everything that is going on. Controversy. You want to be trendy. Yeah, you, yeah. You want to be in music. this. You wanna, yeah. You have to you have to stay true to uh -huh. to yourself and and, uh -huh. and there there must be something that you stand for. Okay. You can't want to do everything. Everything at the same time. Yeah, because sometimes you know I feel like whenever I listen to the music back home, because uh -huh. it, it, it can be rough at home too. Uh -huh. You listen to the music and you're like, wow, um, this is what people are really into. Uh -huh. You know, and then it will kind of stray your mind and make you want to go and try yes, this and try that. But then uh -huh. you lose yourself. True. You know, you lose those fans that were there with you because. Mm -hmm. They were looking to, towards you for this, yeah. you know, and then, you know, so so I would I would say, you know, once as pe as a people as as artists you know, as industry people, once we stay true to what we're doing, okay. mm -hmm. and 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 we believe in what we do, we work hard, you know, um, after a while we'll we'll mm -hmm. start having our own Patience. follow following, yeah. you know, okay. and, and uh, we can reach to the greatest heights. What is your biggest collab? Like I'm sure there's one collab you did. You're like, yes, this is it. Mm. This is it. Yeah, maybe worry, we no worry. With, with I'm with conscious. Yeah, it, it, it's it's hard to to tell between it and, and a song called Fade Away that I did with Agent Saskia. Uh -huh. You know, worry, worry, we no worry is is like one of the biggest songs for me in 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 Europe. Anywhere I go in Europe, mm -hmm. I have to perform. I have to probably close with that song. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there are certain places in the Caribbean too that that, that song is is, uh, um, is doing well. You know, when we go on the like in the U.S. market, mm -hmm. it, it is probably not one of the biggest songs. But then a song called "Fade Away" with Agent Sasko Assassin. You know, that that is, the, is a song that would do well in in in, in that market. It's a, it's a funny thing with our music. Mm -hmm. You know, like everywhere we go, we have a different show. Mm -hmm. You know, not every artist have that. It, it it's I think I see it as a good and a bad thing in a mm -hmm. sense, uh -huh. you know, because, you know, so I will go to Kenya and the show that I will do in Kenya is not the same show I do in Europe, mm -hmm. and it's not the same show I do in the US mm -hmm. or in the Caribbean or in Asia, wherever we go, you okay. know, so, you know, that, that is something that, you know, we always find strange with, with our music. I love mm -hmm. a song here in Kenya that people just love and that, <laughs> that's, 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 that's just for Kenya alone, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, so, so, you know, you know we, we experience things like these as well. Different listeners everywhere and different, yeah, different fans. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of your international performance, you've performed in Kenya mm. previously, you've performed in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, and I've mentioned these two countries because one thing in common, mm. you cried, you shed tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wonder what is it that prompted you crying uh, before you left these two countries? Um, it, 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 it's always a dream to, to come and perform here. and. Um, I remember performing on stage and, and just seeing the love, you know, there, there are so many things that, was, that were going through my head, mm -hmm. you know, I was saying this is really and truly home, this is where we're, you know, on a deeper level, like mm -hmm. this is where, uh, this is where I'm from, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I, I feel like finally I got the opportunity to perform for, for my people, yeah. you know, and to see the real genuine love that was showing out there, I saw people in the crowd crying, yeah. and, and all I could do, in that moment was was, was to, 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 to you couldn't hold it back. I couldn't hold it out. And um, I'm somebody that uh, I I I'm, I I want to be. I try to stay true to myself and be real as possible. So if there's a moment that that come along where I have to cry, I don't. I just let it. I don't want to hold it back. Uh -huh. It makes me feel better in the inside. And I want people to know that I'm a real human being. Awesome. And reggae is big in Kenya, in Ghana, in Uganda, Zimbabwe, South Africa. Almost across the countries in Africa, reggae is so big and it has a lot of following. Mm -hmm. But then again, there is a linkage between reggae, the genre, and Rastafari. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so most of the people expect a certain way 
or a certain behavior from artists like yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> so in <laughs> terms of <laughs> guiding the, the, the followers in Africa, in Kenya, in terms of uh, loving reggae music and also perhaps staying true to the Rastafari way of life, mm -hmm. what would be your, your take on that? I mean, well, it's, it's one, of the, one of the tough, um, it's a tough question uh, to, to really answer to. You know, because I mean, you know, the people, as I mentioned earlier, and the people who help to create the music, you know, and, and, and people who help to push it on a bigger level. Like, for example, Bob Marley, then he was f from a rust, he, he did it from a raster point of view. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there were others like, let's say, Alton Ellis, you know, who used to do the Lovers Rock style of the music, mm -hmm. who just did it from music. There was no religion to, to say behind the music, you know, but, but, but we can't deny that the world you know, look at reggae music as music that, like, for example, Bob Marley brought to the world, and, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and, and people always see it in that light. But the reality about it, there, there are people in Jamaica who, who do reggae music like myself, who, who just do the music from, from the heart, you know, from, from, from a point of love, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and the same kind of energy that, you know, the Arasafari, Arasafari would give on the stage is the same kind of vibe, you know. Um, I. I don't, I don't try to use religion and force things and, 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 and people or tell people that they should live this way because, uh -huh. you know, the way I grew up in Jamaica is not the same way somebody I'm going to perform for in uh -huh. Kenya grew up, you know, and your religion might be different from mine, you know, so I believe that as people we all have something inside of us that is, that is common and that is love, you know, and um, yes. I believe that we all have it inside of us and it's just to find a way to bring it out. Mm -hmm. You know, and that is the reason why most of the music that I put out, you know, has nothing to do with religion. Sure. It's just love and and, and, and love life. Is, yeah, yeah. And, and I, be, I always say to myself and to everybody, everywhere that I go and, and when I talk to people, I always tell them that I believe that love is the only thing that, that is going to save us as a people. Mm -hmm. Amen. No race, no religion, no. Because I think religion is one of the most confusing things, True. Um, to be honest with you. You know, even though I'm from a Christian background, background, you know, but I think that that is one of the things that is confusing people here on earth right now. Everybody believe that they are the right. This is this is right, and you're you are wrong. And once we have that wrong and right thing, mm -hmm. then then we're gonna always have problems. You know, so I believe in love, and I believe that love is the only thing that can save us. Once we once we can start loving each other, mm -hmm. regardless of wherever we're from and the color skin and the religion and the race. Or the creed or whatever it is that that, that, that that is out there. I believe once we start putting love first, then everything that we worry about, you know, can 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 all be resolved, you know? Awesome. You know, so I will I will continue to talk about <laughs> love. I will continue to talk about love as long as I uh -huh. I think I think it goes and that settles a lot of things we've been discussing about love. Love yeah. is something love. Them. But before that we we're talking about your new album Roman Virgo. What is it about? I know it's about love of course yes. and what else other than love? <laughs> Yeah, Love Sick is the, is the very first album that has only love songs oh. on it from, from, from me. Uh -huh. You know, it's an album that I wanted to... I always wanted to have, have a project like this with, mm -hmm. with only love songs, you uh -huh. know. Um, to be a real project to something that I, I, I totally experience. All, everything that I talk about, or most uh -huh. of the things uh -huh. that I talk about on the album. Awesome. And um, so we've been working on this album since 2000 and... 2000 and... Um, 13. Oh, five years. Yeah, and um, finally it came out in 2018. <laughs> you know, um, Love Sick is really and truly a, a series of events that happened over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I decided to just put them in, in song mm -hmm. and create a story. So, like, Love Sick is like a storybook, mm -hmm. basically, with four, 15 chapters. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Describe the chapters. The, the chapters, basically, is it, 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 it shows you. It, it shows you from when you know I, I, I met somebody, mm -hmm. and um, the ups and downs mm -hmm. within the relationship. Part, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. within the relationship, and you know that's basically what the album is all about. An entire album. Mm -hmm. you know, love it's about is love, you know, um, mm -hmm. and and uh, I know you know sometimes. You know, I, I wonder how people would feel about, you know, like listening to an entire album, it's just love song, love song, love song. But for those who, for those who, for those who love love, yes, know, yes. Um, would, I know that they would appreciate it. And, you know, to, to let people out there who probably didn't 
have the interest in, in that side of mm -hmm. I mean, Virgo to, to open that up to them. So. If you were to describe your love life right now in a song, which song would it be? In this together. In this together. Yes. Okay. Super amazing. Any question? Yeah, my question <laughs> is uh, the song. <laughs> You know that song? Yes, I do. Okay. And she, 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 she has a big hat for love. I know. Oh. But she doesn't have a boy. <laughs> she has the fattest beat. Whoa. She doesn't have a man in her we life. predict 2019. It's going to happen. <laughs> it is going to happen. Uh -huh. Wedding, everything. And <laughs> my question would be, the song, he who, the song He Who Feels It Knows It. <laughs> yeah. I, I really appreciate it, mm -hmm. and it talks about a thing that struggles that most people got through. Yeah, was it inspired by a true story? Is it something that you just observed, or is it something that you went through and you decided to actually put it out in terms of a yeah. song? Yeah, well, Who it, Knows It is actually a song that, that, that kind of tells, you know, the struggles that, you know, people that I know back home face, in, including myself and where I'm coming from. You know, and, but the, the process of the song came up, I think we were at, an, at college one night, and we were outside reasoning about, you know, how people have to work hard to really make it happen for them. You know, we were talking about people, yeah. like the barber in the shop. Yeah. And we were saying, like, can you imagine going to the barber shop every day mm -hmm. and nobody come to, to cut their hair and, and, and you have to pay your bills at the end of the month or yeah. the end of the week. Uh -huh. You know, and um, that was basically where the, the entire vibe was coming from. And I, I, I remember as soon as I said that I went upstairs, and I wrote it down in a oh. book, a book, and then, you know, I got a rhythm from Donovan Jeremy from Penthouse, and it sounded like a rhythm that I could put something like, awesome. like that on. So, and it was big, I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, Wolfie Z knows it is probably one of my favorite, like, like maybe my favorite song uh -huh. that would represent my life. Wow. You know, where I'm coming from, you know, and, and, and just, as I said, the people around, you know, Wolfie Z knows it would be that song, and I think it's probably, probably the biggest, it's probably one of the songs that I can say everywhere I go and sing it, people uh -huh. know it. Awesome. You know? So. And then in Kenya we have also aspiring reggae artists. Mm -hmm. And we have quite a number. Do you know any reggae artists from Kenya? Uh, There's Waire, who's a big artist. Uh, Rex and does da, uh, some music. But then again, mm -hmm. there are those who aspire mm -hmm. and they want to do this big time. Mm -hmm. What would be your advice to them? Those who want to take reggae as a genre or dance or mm -hmm. as a genre? When music is free and anybody can do any genre of music, you know, and but want to believe in, in what you do, want to take it serious. You know, as I said, sometimes, you know, people need to have a direction. You know, yeah. so once you're not doing it because it, it, you like the sound and you want to try it. You know, once once you you're serious about doing this genre and and, 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 and and you have a direction that you're going. Yeah. So that people can really and truly follow your story. And I would say do it. You know, believe in what you do, you know, find a team that will help to push the music the way you want you you'd want it to push, you know, yeah. find a, a management team. I think we were talking about this earlier this morning. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you know, it's it's good when, when you can find a team that believes in the music. You know, and, 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 and just by, by having a team, somebody who will go out in the streets and give your music to a DJ or a radio station player or, you know, whoever. Yeah. And say, I want you to listen to this artist. You know, and once you have a, a manager or somebody who, you know, will stand up for you, who will eat and sleep and breathe their name. Awesome. You know, you know, you know that, 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 that is a very, very important part of it. And once you love what you do and you put it first, you, 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 it, it becomes your job is it become the, it become the thing that you want to do every day and nice. whether you have food or whether you have money you want to do it nice. once you can find that love for it then definitely good stuff yeah, yeah good good things will happen uh, we awesome. have around two minutes to end up with it and i want to ask uh you you should tell the first what should they expect uh, on the 15th because you're going to be performing Whoa. and uh, <laughs> i want to hear it from you uh the guinness fan zone mm -hmm. it, it, it's going to be a beautiful night for sure mm -hmm. the last time i came here you know it was a good vibe mm -hmm. you know but you know in, in the back of my head i still didn't feel like i give the fun because i didn't know what to expect i didn't mm -hmm. know which song to, to sing mm -hmm. first sorry so i was nervous you know, this time around, you know, for sure, you know, we just want to make it memorable. We want okay. everybody that come, come come out to the event to remember when Romy and Virgo well, last came. <laughs> came to and care. again, so we're going to give 150% yeah. of energy. Okay, we're going to play this song so that you can sing along to it because you said this is your song, right? Okay. Hey, it's all right. 
Just as long as you're near Baby, it's okay Just as long as you say We're in this together Love me forever Ain't no pulling out Just love me for life True sickness or wrath Poverty or wealth Ain't no pulling out Just love me for life Say you'd be my wife Cause I would rather to be in this bed all alone Than to give my love to someone who don't deserve it Your love is safe and secure all the way Just let me hear you say We're in this together Love me forever Ain't no pulling out Just love me for life through sickness or health, poverty or wealth, ain't no pulling out. Love me for life. Oh, oh, life. Save me, oh. my life. Yeah. Yeah, man. I think we're going to recover from this after. <laughs> <laughs> after a very, very long time. Awesome, <laughs> Oh, yes. I want to say. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you pleasure. so, so much for coming Thank through. You. We're going to see you on Saturday. Definitely, we're going to be there. Yeah. So, uh, you said you should expect 150%. Mm. And we love you. Kenya loves you. We love your music. As someone said, Kenya, Soul Provider is one of your biggest tracks. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, an yeah, amazing yeah. song. And uh, as you said, uh, who feels it knows it. Knows it. Yes, we know it. We feel Jamaica is, and Kenya, we want to do something, you know. So, mm. enjoy the thing, Kenya. Enjoy the concert. Thank you very much. And we shall see you on Saturday. One last thing, just to set the record straight. When a Kenyan <laughs> hears a Jamaican saying wagwan, yes. what does it mean? What does I mean, wagwan mean? What's up? What's, what's up? up? What are you doing? Not dope, not cool, not. No, no, no. Wagwan means. Wagwan, what's up? What's up? What's what going doing? on? Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, man. Also, I was eating a wagwan in a manisha nyaje. Nini na fanyika. Si kusema kitu ni kani ya dope na makul. Roman Vajum Tuango mekua ki Grace E interview session. Tunasema Santi Tu Sana. For life-changing stories, laughter and fun, catch the hot drive every day between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Monday to Friday on Hot 96. 96.